Same thing. They are copying from this book. Surah Al-Araf 7 and 28. وَإِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاهِشَا قَالُوا وَجَدْنَا عَلَيْهَا آبَاءَنَا وَاللَّهُ أَمَرَنَا بِهَا قُلْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَأْمَرُ بِالْفَاشَا And they, and when they do not, sorry, and when they do any obscenity, faisha, they say, we found our fathers, ancestors on it. And Allah has ordered with it. Say, surely Allah does not order with obscenity. So these people who do faisha or obscenity, people are doing uh, obscenity or faisha in the world. So in the ayah says, when they do obscenity or faisha, they say, we found our fathers or ancestors doing it and Allah is ordered. Allah is astaghfirullah ordered to do it. So Allah says, say, Allah does not order with obscenity. This is again, people are saying something and in return to that, Allah said to the messenger, you say to them, you say, so in the further ayat, Al-Araf 7, ayah 203, وَإِذَا لَمْ تَعْتِيهِمْ بِآيَةً قَالُوا لَوْ لَجْ تَبَيْتَهَا قُلْ إِنَّمَا أَتَّبِعُوا مَا يُحَا إِلَيَّ مِنْ رَبِّ and when, when you do not bring them with an ayah sign, they say, why you have not chosen it? Say, surely I follow what is inspired to me from my Lord. So similarly, they are saying that why, uh, why do you not bring them? If Allah said, when, when Muhammad Rasulullah do not bring them with an ayah sign, they say, why you have not chosen it yourself? Why you have not chosen yourself? Say, Allah says to Rasulullah, say, surely I follow what is inspired to me from my Lord. So this is a question and saying, you understand? They are saying this, Allah says, say. So in total, if you look in the point section, there are in the Quran, Kalu, they say. In the number is 331 times. In the ayahs of the Quran, Kalu, they say, they say, they say. It is a quotation saying by Allah that people are saying this, they say. They say. They are saying this. They are saying. In answer to that, Allah don't answer directly. He says, you say. He says to the messenger, you say. So this is what, to answer to 331 times, questions are mentioned. And Allah in answer to the Qul say comes 332. Questions are next, if you go further, now the questions are directly to, to the Muhammad Rasulullah, you will understand. Al-Baqarah 2, Ayah 189. Yes, Alunaka Anil Ahilla. They question you about the Christian, the new moon, that is bracket, I am explaining this Ahilla word, each 28 division of ecliptic occupied by the moon on successive days. We are not discussing the, uh, the first moon or the second hour, the ecliptic, the session of the moon. This is the, all the phases of the moon. Yes, Aluna Kanil Ahilla, they question you about the crescent, the new moon. That is the question posed to Muhammad Rasulullah. So Allah said, Qul, hiya mawaqeetu lin nasi wal hajj. Say, they are the timings of working for mankind and the timings of hajj pilgrimage. So similarly, the hadith books are that people used to come and question Muhammad Rasulullah and to that Muhammad Rasulullah said. So same Allah is telling in the ayats. And on the authority of Allah, Allah is telling, they are questioning you this. You answer this. Similarly, if you look forward, Al-Baqarah 2 and Ayah 215. Yes, alun, alunaka madha yunfiqoon. Qul man faktum min khayr. And they question you that what they should spend. Say what you spend from the betterment which is good and better, you spend. Then further he says in Baqarah 2 and Ayah 217, Yes, Aluna ka anish shahri harami qital in fee. They question you about the fighting in the sacred holy forbidden month. Say, fighting in it is a great offense. Yes, Aluna ka anish shahri harami qital in fee. Qul, qital in fee hi kabir. They question you about the fighting in the sacred holy month, forbidden month. Say, fighting is a great offense. Again, they are saying, about the, they are questioning you about the fighting in the holy month. So Allah is telling Rasulullah, you say it is a great offense. So this is a question to Muhammad Rasulullah and Allah is directly answering no. Is through Muslim Rasulullah is ask, answering. So yes, Aluna Kanil Khamri wal Maisir and they question you about intoxicant and gambling. Qul fi hima ismun kabir. Say there, there is a great sin in both of them. You see, I am not giving the whole ayahs. These are examples to explain to you there are many, many ayahs like this in order to, to understand you that in the Quran there are ayahs directly addressed to mankind and in the ayahs there are ayahs that are spoken by people to Muhammad Rasulullah and as Allah said to him, to you tell them. That is the Atate Rasul. That is the falling of the messenger. 
So for, similarly in Baqarah 2 and Ayah 220 and 222 Ayat, where yes, and they question you about the orphans, Qul islahul lahum khayr. Say correction is better for them. And they question you about menstruation. Say it is hurt anxiety. So you understand, you are following, I am trying to explain one point only. That there are ayahs that they are asking you about hurt and menstruation. They are asking you about menstruation, you say that. They are asking you about yatama, you say that. So these ayahs are atate rasul or the falling of the messenger within the Quran. Surah Fusilat 41 and Ayah 43 Allah says ma yuqalu laka illa ma qad qeel ma yuqalu laka illa ma qad qeela li rasooli min qablik inna rabbaka ladu maghfiratin wa du iqaban ali alim nothing is said for you except what was said for the messengers from before you surely your Lord is the one who definitely forgives and is the one who is painful chaser so this ayah Allah says that Allah is saying to the messenger nothing is said to you what was not said before you to the messengers that means the system of all the messengers was the same nothing is said to the messenger Muhammad Rasulullah that was not said before by the messengers it was the same whatever said before again Muhammad Rasulullah people because the questions of mankind remain the same they don't change this is the point so in the Quran yes alunaga means the question you is mentioned 15 times in the Quran and the answers are there. So, so many times they say, and this is what. So, now in Surah Al Mu'minun 23, 68, and 69, Allah says, Afalam Am Am Lam Am Lam Ya'rifu Rasulahum Fahum Lahu Munkirun. So, what? Do they not ponder on the Qawl saying, or there has come to them what was not come to the fathers or the answers of their earlier ones? Or do they not recognize their messenger? So for him they are disguised. Now Allah is saying, Afalam yaddabbarul qawl. Do they not ponder over the qawl? Qawl means the saying. Saying of whom? Saying of the messenger, the Quranic ayahs. This is the kalam of Allah, word of Allah, saying of the messenger. So Allah says, do they not ponder over the saying? Or there has come to them what was not come to their fathers. Is there new thing what has not come to the father? Allah said, they, whatever he said, it was said before also. So what has come to be, uh, to, to them, what has come to the fathers and sisters of their earlier ones? Is this something new? No. Or do they not recognize their messenger? The question is, do they not ponder on the saying? If you do not ponder the saying, you don't recognize the messenger. The Qawli rasul Karim of the Quran, then you read an ayah, and you read an ayah, you understand this is the saying of the messenger. The moment you understand this is the saying of the messenger is the recognition of the messenger. Now if somebody says hey, this, this is the saying of the messenger. So by the hearing those words within the hadith, you hear those words, you think that is the saying of the messenger. The Allah says, do, do they not qawl? Do they not ponder the qawl, the Quranic ayah? Do they not ponder the ayahs or the qawl? Saying, which saying? This saying. Call a Rasul Karim. Say, or there has come to them what was not come to the fathers, answers of their earlier ones. Whatever the father, the same thing has been coming from the earlier fathers. Am lam ya'rifu rasulahum? Or do they not recognize the messenger? messenger? If you do not ponder the Quranic ayahs, you do not accept the ayahs as the saying of the messenger, you do not recognize the messenger. The recognition to recognize the messenger is to recognize the ayat as the saying of the messenger, not anything else. So now to recognize the messenger and the saying to ponder on the saying of the messenger of Allah is nothing new. So now I, I read few three, four ayahs coming to a conclusion. At Tur 52, ayat 33 and 34. <clears throat> فَلْيَعْتُوا بِحَدِيثِ مِسْلِهِ إِنْ كَانُوا صَادِقِينَ Or they say, he said it, but they do not believe. Then let them come with a hadith, like it, like this, إِنْ كَانُوا صَادِقِينَ If they are truthful. أَمْ يَقُولُونَ تَقَوَّلَا بَلْ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ Or they say, he said it, but they do not believe. فَلْيَعْتُوا بِحَدِيثِ مِسْلِهِ إِنْ كَانُوا صَادِقِينَ Let them come with a hadith, 
like like it like this if they are truthful so or they say he said it this is his saying this is my my conjecture my conjecture he said it but they do not believe that this is the qala rasul karim how many people know this is the qala rasul karim before coming to this lecture how many people know this is qala rasul karim no one so it is new to most of the people they will think this i am doing it it's not in the ayahs of allah is i am doing it so allah said do they say he said it that man this and he said it but they do not believe allah said they do not believe then allah said falyatu bi hadisin misli then come with a hadith like like this like this all the hadith that have been recited i have recited that hadith or hadith means the event the event of rasulullah and events of all the messengers la halata ka hadith musa event of musa is mentioned hadith ghasia there are so many words in the arabic that explain that these are the hadith and all the hadith that i am referring to in the ayahs so allah says you come with a hadith like this so the whole book so of hadith in the world not only one there are six of the sunni sects and four of the shia sects are all any number i don't know the number you must be knowing it the scholars nobody can come with a hadith like of the quran this is a challenge to whole mankind of the muslim world so called liberal muslims fal yatu bi hadith misli you come with a hadith like allah's ayat this is the qul rasul karim this is the saying of the honorable messenger you recognize the messenger by the qul rasul karim you recognize the messenger by the saying of the messenger you cannot come with a hadith like this fal yatu bi hadith misli in kanu sadiqin then let them come with a hadith like it like this all the hadith that i read all the ahsan hadith of the quran allah has already said ahsan hadith means the most beautiful hadith there are other hadiths of the well there are people who have got hadith but not like allah's hadith not like allah's event not like rasul events mentioned the ayas so allah said let them come with a hadith event if they are truthful further it says in the aya al waqia 36 oh sorry al waqia 56 and aya 81 and 82 afa bi hadal hadithi antum mudhinun wa tajaluna rizqakum annakum tukadhibun is it such a hadith event that you flatter and you make it your sustenance or livelihood that you falsify it that people have made it believe livelihood they have made their sustenance or livelihood to falsify the hadith of allah the event of allah because the moment you quote an ayah they say it is not understood until you understand that hadith it is not understood until you understand know that again and again it is brought forward like this so allah says is it such a hadith or event that you flatter you just you just have ayat of the quran so flatter flatter but wa tajaluna rizqakum annakum tukadhibun and you have make your sustenance or your livelihood that you falsify it continuously you are falsifying it whenever the ayah sing being read or recited you falsify saying that this cannot be understood there is not true this is not what where the quran says this where the quran has got this and this quran has got this it doesn't explain it is not complete there so many you put so many questions you make your livelihood your sustenance to falsify it Surah Najm 53 and Ayah 59 to 62. أَفَمِنْ هَذَا الْحَدِيثِ تَعْجَبُونَ وَتَذَحَّقُ وَتَذَحَّقُونَ وَلَا تَبْكُونَ وَأَنْتُمْ سَامِدُونَ وَالْجُدُّ لِلَّهِ وَعْبُدُهُ Then you are amazed from this hadith event and you laugh and you do not cry and you raise the heart proudly <laughs> and you raise the heart proudly then prostrate and serve for allah 
This is so evident that I don't need an explanation to it. Afamin Afamin Hadha al Hadisi Ta'jaboon. Then are you amazed from this hadith event? And you laugh and you do not I have seen it with my own eyes. People laughing at the eyes at the essence of Allah's message. I have seen it with my own eyes that people laugh and make a mockery on the eyes of Allah. And the eyes says they are not amazed. Afamin Hadha al Hadisi Ta'jaboon. Then they, are you not are you amazed from this hadith event? And you laugh and you do not cry. Wantum Samidun and you raise the head proudly. First Sajudul, first Judulillah, Wa Abdu, then prostrate and serve Allah. This is not a matter of me, Muhammad Sheikh. It is there. It will remain there. As an ayat standing of Allah's ayat there. People putting fingers at me is not a, it's not no problem for me. But the fact remains that these are either you are standing, your heads are proudly up on the head is up because saying that the Quran is not complete. It, it can never ever be understood without the ayahs, without the hadith, the books of hadith. I have made a comparison to my own personal efforts. But the fact remains, the call of Rasul Kareem is Allah's message. It is not what people are writing about him. It is all there. And people are not taking it seriously. They are taking it as a joke. All the time, all my 19 years of experience, they have taken every ayah that I have explained as a joke, as a mockery. And by God, Allah is there a witness to judge between me and them. <clears throat> and Allah says in Surah Al Qalam 68, al Hadith. min haythu la yalamun. So leave on me and whosoever belies with this hadith event, soon we will gradually come from where they do not know. So leave on me and whosoever belies with this hadith event, soon we will gradually come from where they do not know. Fadarni wa man yukadzibu bihad al hadith, sannas tad rijuhum min haythu la yalamun. So leave on me, Allah says, leave on him, Allah Almighty, and whosoever belies with this hadith, bihad al hadith, this hadith that I have recited for you people, if this is all hadith of Allah. And Allah says, so leave on me, and whosoever belies with this hadith, the event, soon we shall gradually come. From where they do not come, to, they do not know, from, 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 a, from where they can even think and imagine, well, he will get, catch you all, who, who take this ayah as a mockery. Who take this as a hadith as a mockery? Who believe that as a hadith as of, of a comparison to this? He says he will come from where you cannot know. And I end this ayat, Surah Al Jasiyah 45 and 6 ayat. Tilka ayatullah, natluha alayka bil haq, fabi ayya hadith in bad Allah, wa ayatihi yu'minun. These are the ayat, signs of Allah. We recite over you with the truth. Then after Allah and His ayah signs, in which hadith even they will believe, they believe. <coughs> These are the ayahs, are the signs of Allah that I recited, or we recited, it was recited by Allah. These are the ayahs, signs of Allah. We, Allah said, we recite over you with the truth. Then after Allah, فَبِي أَيِّ حَدِيثٍ بَعْدَ اللَّهِ وَآيَاتِهِ يُؤْمِنُونَ Then after Allah and His ayah signs, in which hadith event they will believe? Allah is asking a question. That Allah after Allah is an ayahs. In which hadith you will believe? They will believe. So people are saying we believe this hadith. Or the other books of hadith. Without knowing this ayat. Without knowing the whole ayahs understanding of the Quran. Because they don't know. They do not know the hadith. They have not read the hadith. They have not read the Quran in translation. Then I will ask the question, nobody knew. So it, the education is that the time if we, if we said something, you must take things carefully, consciously, that these are ayahs. This is not my philosophy that I want to promote. What, why should I? What, what benefit I get? <laughs> it's not what it is there. Then Allah said, these are the ayahs, signs of Allah. We, Allah said, we recited over you with the truth. Then after Allah, 
and his ayahs in which hadith they believe. Tilka ayatullah. These are the ayahs of Allah. Natluha alayka bil haq. We have recited over you with truth. Fabi ayyi hadithim ba'd Allah. Then which hadith they will believe after Allah. Wa ayati and his ayat. You minun they will believe. This is a question to all the people of the world who are labeled Muslims. Who have not read these hadith in the real sense. They have read it without knowledge. They have taken as a, without knowledge, they are believing it. They don't know. So the time is that the, for the people who are educated, they must read the Quran. First try to understand the Quranic essence. Then read the hadith also. So that you must understand what it contains. Not without knowing it, you believe in hadith and make an argument. And you make your livelihood and sustenance just to falsify the ayahs. Just to say the Quran is not complete. The Quran is not complete without the understanding of this. I told you in the beginning. The Quran is the Furqan, the criteria to judge the Hadith, to judge the Bible, to judge the sciences, all sciences of the world. It is a book of facts coming from Allah, the source, the creator of the universe. He has said it as the truth it is. You have to understand the sense of Allah. Once it is understood first, not without understanding. Once you've understood by Allah, have you understood the eyes of Allah, then you have the capability to judge the other thing. But if it is not understood, you cannot put your similes, your mutashabiyah, your resemblance in the ayahs and think this is what the ayah says. No, no, this is not the way. First, the ayah should be understood properly. And once it is understood, then you are in the position to judge the Bible, judge the sciences, judge the history and geography and other books. But if you are not in the position, you have to take the uh, concept by what people are telling you. That is, the, that is happening all the time. The book has not been clear to us. The book has not been read by us. The, we read other books and then we go to different scholars or our own school of thought scholars. We ask them to explain the, the, the traditional Islam, not the ayahs, not the ayahs, just like this. So this was the lecture to explain to the people that what is the Quran says about the hadith, the event mentioned the ayahs. I conclude by saying the hadith means the event and that the general understanding of the hadith of the books of the hadith in the world is that the contents in the hadith is the saying or the sunnah or the practice of the messenger prophet. Hadith, the word hadith. Hadith means in the world that it contains hadith book, it is an event book which contains the sunnah, the practice and the saying of the messenger prophet. That is what these books are. We have understood from the Quran that the Quran contains the asal hadith, the most beautiful hadith. It contains the events of not only Muhammad Rasulullah, but it contains the hadith of all the prophets and it contains the hadith events of all the universe and the galaxies and everything. The events. It contains. And the mokum ayat, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the hukum of ayat, which is the law, the Torah, we have to follow. And the events are there for us to take guidance. But we have to believe in the kanun, the law, the Torah, as well as the hadith, the events. We have to believe in the both. But people and the, and the saying of the messengers also mentioned in the Quran that they are questioning you, you tell them. They are saying to you, you say them. So this is the saying of the messenger. We have read the Quran. That this is the Qali Rasul Karim. And the events are also there. That is the most beautiful Asal Hadith. The most beautiful event in the book of Allah. So I end my lecture in this. Do you have any other question and answer? We start the session. Thank you.